Hey guys, John here with the King's Courtyard Lawn Care Service. I am back at my house and I know it's been a while. So first of all, let me say, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and also a Happy New Year. And uh, back here, a lot of things have taken place since uh, the last time that I've videoed. If that's the word, videoed, videoing. Um, but everything's still good here at the house and I'm just trying to get some maintenance done. I, I tried like one or two times earlier today to do it and every time I open up the garage door it seemed like it just started raining. It's been raining like crazy for the last couple of days so I'm grateful for the rain but uh, I've got a ton of work to do. Um, I've been wanting to uh, get my mower cleaned up and possibly both of my mowers and then maybe even my push mowers and stuff I wanted to get some of that stuff done but haven't been able to so today I think I might be able to at least get my big mower done cleaned up and ready to go and to do that I usually use like a degreaser I use this one from Dollar Tree and it's just an awesome brand and uh, this thing does an amazing job I have not had a chance yet, believe it or not. I've got to get that blower rack up and I haven't had a chance to do it yet. But I will get it done, hopefully. I may be able to get my trimmers done today while I pull up my mower, so there's that. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get busy. Hey guys, I do want to say that my attempt to uh, get my my uh, slime on my wheels did not work so I noticed that it said I had to use like four ounces in these wheels and uh, this right here was four ounces no eight ounces and I didn't use the whole thing in that wheel so maybe I didn't use enough of it but for whatever reason that did not work for me so I had a while to get inner tubes put in and as you can tell they are holding I think they've been in for like two weeks, so they are holding right now. Um, so yeah, there's my my mowing deck, dirty, 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 and everything else back here is dirty. So I need to get this thing cleaned up really good, get it back shiny and looking new-ish. So that's the goal for today. Uh, just kind of get everything cleaned up and get it looking new again, get, look, get it looking fresh. I'm sorry about that. Uh, also, a few new surprises. Got a few new surprises for you guys uh, for the company. Uh, one of them is the camera that I'm using right now. Uh, pretty much a brand new camera. I think I've used it on the last four videos. And I was trying to get the coloring right, but I think I actually got the right formula now. So we're going to do that. Um, also got something new for the business that I want to show you guys. I'm really eager to show you guys. I've had it since about before Thanksgiving. And so I can't wait to show you guys that. And um, just, you know, a couple of few things that I want to show you guys. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, water holes and uh, go ahead and All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a while and I'm gonna hit up my um, handheld equipment and I can't believe my battery's about dead. I haven't been out here for about 
few minutes. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Maybe put it on a charger. I don't know what's going on with these batteries. They do seem like they drain pretty quickly in this camera. So, I will uh, pause it and put it on the charge real quick and then come back to you guys. Stay tuned. It was completely dirty. Now you can see the shininess of the uh, bar again. I hit it again on the shields. Here's the steel. It cleaned up really well too. And again, I hit it again on the shield and around the top of it. But uh, it's gonna take a little bit to get that off. And again, this is from a year. All of this stuff is from a year. So I know a lot of guys, they don't clean them clean up their equipment stuff's everywhere on their equipment and you know hey to each his own I'm not telling you to do it or not to do it but I like to keep my stuff clean especially when I get a spare moment because it's not always when I can clean my equipment check this out that's my uh, edge wheel off of my um, echo last time that I had to do it um, at last time I had an edge it was uh, pretty bad, so that's why that got so dirty, but like I said, I'm taking care of that now and cleaning up that. I got some more equipment over here that I may go ahead and wash up. Not tonight, probably more or less tomorrow. But anyway, um, yeah, I got somebody interested in one of my push mowers. I'm selling both of them, by the way. I'm going to try to get like either a Honda or a Toro. Um, I forget what it's called, but the, the one that you push. Well, obviously, I want to get the one that um has like not the one that has 31 inches, but the one that has like 23 inches, um, or the Honda. Either way, I, I think I'll be happy with either one of them. Probably wind up getting the Honda, the Toro though, because because of the fact that it's red, just like my other mower is set up. So and Bradley makes a push mower, but theirs is kind of expensive and it's ugly. No offense, Bradley. Um, but uh. It's, it's a little bit different. I don't know. I may, I may wind up getting it, but it's it's like six hundred dollars, I think. And I'm like, I think it's still like twenty one and twenty one or maybe twenty four inches of cut. But I mean, I'm not that interested in staying with the Bradley brand. I don't know though. I may get it. I may not. We'll just have to see. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit this one more time, and I'll be done for the night. As you can see, nighttime is upon us. It's getting dark really quick. It's only, it might be five o'clock by now. Yeah, it's 5.26, so almost 5.30, which is about time um, that it gets dark around here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the rest of this mower, and I will uh, get back with you guys. All right, guys, there we have it. The uh, Bradley is back cleaned up. I didn't get a chance to really detail it like I want to, and I probably will go over it again. Um, next up is going to be my little mower here. It shouldn't be too dirty because I cleaned it at the beginning of the season, and I cleaned it, I want to say, like two or three times before I got the Bradley, which I got the Bradley in right before August, right before my birthday. And um, so, yeah, it should, it's dirty, but it's not terribly dirty like a year's worth of dirt. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully big things coming up for 2020 I'm looking forward to it myself uh, I got some plans that I'm looking forward to doing and implementing and uh, it's gonna be a great year guys so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off clean up my mess and uh, hopefully you know you guys have had a good season had a good year had a good Christmas had a good New Year's and uh, we're looking to do it all again and uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys can see me. I don't know how well this camera's gonna do. There's a lot. It may do, all right. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have had a good season and hopefully you guys, you guys will continue to have a good season. Um, I'm looking forward to 2020 myself. So um, as always guys, stay safe out there and keep grinding.